before we get into the news, make sure to subscribe to my first and second channels and hit the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And follow my Instagram to get notified more frequently of MMA news before it is posted on my YouTube channel, and feel free to follow my Facebook and Twitter as well. Cain Velasquez who is an American professional wrestler and retired professional mixed martial artist, joins WWE. The news was confirmed by Mark Raimondi of ESPN. Recently, Velasquez was removed from the USA DA testing pool and from the UFC rankings. Later, Velasquez showed up at WWE SmackDown and confronted Brock Lesnar. Mark Raimondi states on Twitter, Brock Lesnar vs. Kane Velasquez and Tyson Fury vs. Braun Strowman are official for WWE Crown Jewel on October 31 in Saudi Arabia. What do you guys think? Do you think Kane Velasquez would be a good opponent for Brock Lesnar for WWE SmackDown? Let me know in the comments below. Next, Wheelish Ang gets her US visa approved after having previous problems getting her visa approved to the point where a Democratic presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard would come out and offer help. Zhang recently stated on Instagram, My American visa was refused again. I don't know why. Is it the wrong type of visa I should apply for? Or because I'm a single woman? Or is the visa officer in a bad mood at work today? Zhang said. I hope this can be resolved so I can visit and get to meet some of my new friends and fans in America. We are still working on it and hope to have good news in time for me to make the trip on October 15th. Wow. Zhang wrote. I just received news from my manager that Mr. Tulsi Gubbert contacted him to try and help us. Thank you thank you Miss Tulsi. Then Wheelish Ang's manager Brian Butler issued the following statement to MMA Junkie, At this time we have been denied a visa to come here for the media tour next week. We believe that there was some miscommunication of some sort that caused red flags to raise to cause the denial. We are not quite sure what that is but we are working through the process as we speak. The UFC legal department is working on it and presidential candidate Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard also responded to me and is trying to help on her end. Lastly, Joanna Yendracek makes way to UFC Tampa way in with her weighing 115.5 pounds while her opponent Michelle Waterson weighed 115 pounds. Thanks for watching, make sure to leave a comment below of what you thought of the video, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified for more.